you said are Pecha Kucha criteria. Let's see if we have anything. Preparation. Preparation. It would it would fit nicely into pre preparation, but it's I don't think it's in preparation right now because preparation the way that this reads is student is completely prepared and obviously rehearsed with the focus more on the ability to fluently give their presentation without going uh um eh, uh that that sort of thing that's preparation um, in this context so. Ability to deliver the presentation <laughs> using concepts discussed in class. Eye contact, posture, etc. That's the delivery, exactly. Ability to create and support an opinion about the topic. Analysis. Analysis, okay. Good. Um, yeah, analysis is right. Okay, so the reason that we did this really quickly is because I want you to be very comfortable because now you're going to have an opportunity to actually use, um, okay, you're going to have an opportunity to actually use the rubric to grade my presentation and before we start, before we jump in to actually using the rubric, what I would like us to just really briefly talk about is what are some effective ways to use a rubric when, you know, you're doing this live, right? I'm going to be giving the presentation and you're going to be scrambling to fill in all of, all of these little squares or some of these little squares. So based on your personal experience, what points or tips can you give us in how to rate a presentation while using a rubric? That was a question. <laughs> it was an invitation for a discussion. <laughs> yeah, for example, I always, um, one of my points would be that I would memorize the categories and the meaning. Obviously you can't do that right now, but I would try to memorize that as much as possible so that I can not really think about the form, but focus my thoughts on what the person is saying. That's an example of a tip, but unfortunately you can't really do it. <laughs> so so uh, other for, tips. For the students, I would believe it's the scriptures. I, I, I it's have them both the scriptures and okay, empty, so again, you're, hold on, you're talking about the form, so for this, what I'm, what I'm asking right now is, you're about to be the teacher grading the student. How are you going to use what you have in front of you in the best possible way to do that, given what you have in front of you? That's perfect, you're like on a roll, but like three more slides from now. That's when we can discuss that, okay? Another tip that I might use is the space below. I might write notes. Exactly. So especially with um, here, there's not necessarily pronunciation. It would go under deliver delivery, but if I had focused on pronunciation with the students at some point in the class, there may have been key words that I was looking for, and I would note down those words, right? So I would look for the key elements and make notes. Yes, what can you add? You could put ticks. If, if, if there's a point like in a presentation that we like or dislike, we could put a check or a tick. In, in the box. Okay, perfect. So when you're using this, you're either, you're ticking in the box and you can either put a tick next to what they did well or you could put a tick next to what they didn't do well. Mm -hmm. Or you could put a tick next to what they did well and circle mm -hmm. something that was missing. Mm -hmm. Great. Someone else? That was good. I wanted to say that you can divide the paper into two parts. 
towards positive and negative sides Great. and to make some notes and then analyze the table and decide what you put uh, and decide the hard work presentation, for example. Absolutely, absolutely. So just drawing a line down the center, put a little plus at the top, minus on the other. Maybe not a minus. Maybe I always do a face with just a line instead of a smiley face because it's <laughs> minus seems like it's bad. And I don't want it to seem bad because it's just an area for improvement. But yeah. Or like a half a smile, yeah. <laughs> something, um, something to convey these are points to work on. Okay, great, great suggestions. What else might you do when you're uh, doing this? Afterwards. After the presentation. Okay, so you might wait, get all the information, and do it after the presentation. Um, that's one possibility. With this, because it's so detailed, so what would you be doing during the presentation? Listening. It is only 20 slides. I can remember them. Okay. <laughs> I would not, I personally would not do that. And the reason is because, um, first of all, oftentimes the students are going one after another. And that would mean I'd have to say, stop. Mm -hmm. Everybody mm -hmm. stay in your seats and then make my marks. Mm -hmm. Second of all, immediately after the presentation, they have a question-answer section. And during the question-answer section, you may get so involved that you may forget elements. So I always do it in the moment because I may not remember every single thing. And I want to make sure that when I'm grading somebody, I'm doing the best possible job that I can do because this is their grade and so I want to make sure that I'm I'm in the moment I may pause and stop and just take notes while watching them but if I see something I automatically mark it on the paper because I don't want to rely only on my memory um, other points yeah. I also wanted to say that if we are in the classroom, we can give each student a small table with five basic criteria and some points. Four, three, two, one, zero. Mm. And we can propose our students to be a teacher. And maybe, one, uh, for example, one student can make a presentation on one talk. It's like a um, pilot version right. of the situation. So we can give the students a table. Uh, previously discussed points, and they have to tick four, three, two, one, and in the end we will discuss the presentation according to the point that they gave the presenter. That's a fantastic idea, but before we go to the ideas, just like I said with him, focus on during this presentation, what are some other strategies? I love that idea, so let's talk about it more later, so don't forget, right? But <laughs> let's focus first on this. Um, I wonder. Okay, 